Okay, deep breaths. Smash Brothers 5. The long-awaited Smash Switch has been the internet's darling child ever since its reveal in a March Nintendo Direct. And honestly, it's really easy to see why. The hype that comes with a new Smash game is almost unprecedented, especially on a console with such a wide mass appeal and install base as the Nintendo Switch. And naturally, at the forefront of that speculation and hype is character predictions for the new game's roster. Recently, the big YouTuber Alpharad did his picks for the top 10 Smash Brothers characters he wanted to see in this new game, and a friend of mine, Max HP, did his top 5 picks for Fire Emblem representations. It is interesting, however, that both of these YouTubers arrived on the same conclusion, that Lin should be in Smash Brothers. And considering my reputation as a content creator, I figured it was only time before I threw my hat into the ring and put my two cents into this discussion. So today, I aim to explore the possibility and likelihood of Lin getting an appearance and a character slot in this new Smash Brothers game, and going over some of the common arguments for and against, and seeing what are the holes, what are the pros, and what are the cons. Ideally, I'd like to have a comprehensive list of every reason for Lin being in Smash and for her not to be in Smash, as we take a nice, educated, and reasonable look at why Lin might be in the next Smash Brothers game. Firstly, I'd like to preface this video by acknowledging some of my personal bias on this topic. If you spend any amount of time on my channel, you could probably easily discern that I am in fact one of the biggest Lin fanboys to ever exist. Lin? Whoa! And all of this is because of a stupid and strange, embarrassing encounter I had at fourth grade summer camp that has seemed to stick with me into my adult years to the point where it has snowballed into this frivolous running joke on my channel that I cannot seem to escape for the life of me. I love Lin as a character. Regardless of how she's basically a D-tier unit who's not useful past the mid-game in FE7, Oh no! I love her just the same because of her great interactions with not only the Avatar, but also Wrath and Kent. Another one! They are all great supports, and I recommend reading them if you like Lin in any capacity. She is certainly one of my favorite characters, not only for how uh, sweet and caring she is as a character, but also how spunky and out there she can be. Additionally, having one of the flashiest attacks and movesets and sprite animations in the GBA series that more than makes up for her mediocre performance as a unit in my eyes. Another one. That being said, Lin also got my Smash Ballot vote back when that was still a thing. So I can assure you, I 100% would want Lin to be in Smash to the point where I would do very, very upsetting and abhorrent rituals to dark pagan deities to see it happen. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! Let's look at some common arguments for why Lin should be in Smash. The first of which is her absolutely magnificent popularity. It's no secret that Lin is among the most popular characters in the series, and for good reason. If my rant towards the beginning of this video wasn't any indication, she is well-loved by many, many Fire Emblem fans. However, I feel like taking the popularity polls of Fire Emblem Choose Your Legends into account as raw data and accurate representations of a certain character's popularity is loaded and inaccurate at best. I often like to joke myself that I'm indirectly responsible for about 1,000 of Lin's 44,000 votes. And honestly, given my view counts on my mid-roll video for the original Choose Your Legends poll, that's not hard to believe, especially when I was also voting three times a day for Lin on separate devices, probably more if I could weasel my way onto some sort of public computer or public network. While I am merely one Fire Emblem fan, I cannot demonstrate easily the greatest part of the sample size for the Choose Your Legends poll. I can hopefully illustrate with these factoids 
that perhaps they aren't as concrete and as reliable as you may think. They are certainly a good indicator, but I don't think their data can be fully taken as fact. So where does that leave Lin's chances for getting in Smash? Well, they're actually still fairly high. There are a few things that would need to happen, but it's like maybe a 40% chance. That seems safe in my opinion. While the Choose Your Legends votes cannot be used as an accurate measure of her popularity, they are a good ballparking range to say she is among, if not, the most popular female character in this series, so including her would be quite important. Additionally, given her own significance to Fire Emblem being the first lord for many players, including myself, in the West, her significance to the series cannot be understated, and a role in Smash Bros. would do her justice in that way very easily. There's also the possibility, given a new Smash, the likelihood of characters being cut. While I personally don't think Sakurai would want to cut anyone, it is certainly a possibility if he faces pressure from either the higher-ups or his design staff to possibly move characters like Lucina into a palette swap set for Marth, much like how ALF was for Olimar. With existing models and animations already in the working Smash 4 engine, she could be seen to perhaps get the Little Mac treatment and upgrade from Assist Trophy into fully fledged playable character, since that is not unheard of. But there would be a few things that would need to happen for this to go through as well. Firstly, I think one or more Fire Emblem characters needs to be removed from the game's base roster. They can be added in as DLC later, but my bet is Roy or Corrin or possibly Lucina needs to get the boot from the base game and added either later or mapped to an alternate, probably Lucina, for an alternate of Marth. This would open up a character slot for a Fire Emblem character, and barring the inclusion of the Fire Emblem 16 Lord, which I think is far more likely than Lin, this hole in terms of representation that was created in Lucina's absence could be very easily filled by our humble Lady of the Plains. So, assuming the chain of events occurs and the 40% chance of Lin getting in actually happens, how would Lin play? Firstly, I think she'd be very fast and a bit of a lightweight. She'd have great speed, great combos, but her damage output wouldn't be the greatest and her kill power would be very lacking. Additionally, I think her grabs and her throws wouldn't be the most useful in the world and would probably only seek to throw in and out of combos. Observing her acrobatic style of fighting within both Warriors and the GBA games, it's pretty easy to say that Lin would be a character with fast, hard-hitting aerials that would allow her to juggle her opponents quite well. Additionally, I think her forward smash should be a multi-hit combo, much like Link or Clouds, though it wouldn't have as much kill power as them and would also set up right into other combos. I think for her specials, she could probably pull out a bow with her side special and charge it much like Link's, and possibly for her neutral special she could have some kind of charging attack, I'm not sure what. Her down special could easily be some kind of thing where she creates shadow clones of herself, and much like Bayonetta's Bat Within, she will be able to dodge an attack and take less damage from it. It wouldn't be a true counter because we gotta keep Lin accurate to her game and keep her frail and not the most defensive type, but keep her dodgy and still very slippery. I think it would also be cool if as an aesthetic choice she kept her sword sheathed most of the time and then pulled it in and out of on attacks. This would produce a really cool quick draw style and would be aesthetically cool to look at in both replays and when you're watching tournaments with high level players. I'm by no means an expert on competitive Smash Bros, but I would certainly main her and try to get good with her and possibly go to some local tournaments of my own and see how I stack up. But that's of course provided she even gets in the game, as there are still a few things that I'd like to go over before we wrap up today. So from a more meta standpoint, what's Lin's likelihood? Well, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think Sakurai wants to cut anyone from Smash 4, if he can, anyways. So, Lucina being reduced to an alternate of Marth, in my eyes, is much less likely than her actually getting a more diverse moveset in Smash 5 to set her apart from Marth instead. This, of course, would then restrict Lin's spot, 
because as I said, the likeliest reason they'd add Lynn is if Lucina got reduced to an alternate of Martin. Bit of a post-production brain fart I had while editing, but if they do end up tweaking Lucina's moveset to make her more unique, it's possible that instead of Lucina and Marth sharing a character slot, they could instead make it so that Lucina and Lynn share a character slot, much like how the Robins have the gender options and the Bowser Jr. alts are all the Koopalings. Uh, they could have it so that one of Lucina's alternate costumes is in fact Lynn. Uh, this would mean Lynn only would have one character costume, uh, that being her default colors from Fire Emblem 7, and she would share her moveset completely exactly with Lucina, just being a cosmetic change, but I think this would be a good way to include her without actually cutting Lucina or taking up an extra character slot herself. Additionally, and this comes down to not only personal taste, but what I think of the game itself, Fire Emblem as a series only just recently got really popular, and its representation in Smash, in my opinion, is still a little overstated. And I think the roster that they have is unique and diverse enough that it could honestly just stay the same between now and Smash 4, and I'd be perfectly happy. Additionally, the likelihood of the Fire Emblem 16 protagonist getting in over any older character is a far more likely possibility that I think we should all consider and probably not set ourselves up for disappointment by wanting our favorite older characters to get in. There's also the issue of priority and relevance. While Lin certainly means a lot to Fire Emblem, she's only really relevant because of heroes, and I doubt a mobile game will have as much effect on a juggernaut as Smash as something like Breath of the Wild, which was a genre-defining, essentially modern classic will. And lo and behold, given Link having Breath of the Wild's design in the Smash 5 teaser, I think it's only fair to say that is the case. Additionally, I think there should be other sword-wielding characters who should also be prioritized over Lin, namely Rex from Xenoblade 2. Him and Pyra would make a great Ice Climbers type duo that I really want to see how they play in the game, and hopefully we can switch to Mithra as well. Additionally, if we are going all out on the Xenoblade representation this time around, the addition of Morag would be excellent, especially for me. I love my Scottish waifu, after all. Scotland FOREVER! The thing we have to remember at the end of the day is that anyone is possible for Smash. It's just a question of what is the most realistic and what makes the most sense. And while Lin certainly has a claim to that spot, I think there are other characters who should get it before her. Which is really sad to say coming from me because I want her in Smash probably more than anything else. Smash is a game series that has the power to revive franchises from the dead and gain interest in characters who are as old as the NES. While Lin is certainly significant to her own series, all she really has going for her is that and her popularity. There are certainly plenty of other characters I can think of who deserve the spot sooner than she would get it. So, in conclusion, could Lin be in Smash 5? Absolutely. She also couldn't be. It's a definite maybe. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you enjoy speculation like this, let me know down in the comments not only which characters you would like to see in the new Smash, but also your own thoughts on the likelihood of Lin's placement in it. I personally think, like I said, it's a 40% chance of it happening. A lot of other things will need to happen for it to happen. It's like a Rube Goldberg machine that will end in Lin getting in Smash. Um, I just don't know if every piece will fall into place is the basic thesis of this video. So, if you enjoyed, why not subscribe, throw me a like, a comment, I, um, and basically, no matter what character you want to see in this new Smash Brothers game, as always, my name is Zerk Monster Hunter 4, and happy hunting.